Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Taking a look today at a knife from Artisan Cutlery. This is the 1842B slash BK. Uh, it is the Artisan Cutlery Sea Snake. Get this out here. Comes in a little plastic bag inside the box. And as you can see, it's set up uh, as a neck knife, although you could uh, get some sort of retention system that you could put on your belt. Uh, I believe it's, it's a little big for my taste for a neck knife, but you could certainly use it as that. This knife is designed by Mike Emler. Uh, he makes knives. He also has a knife sharpening business. He has a YouTube channel. I believe it's called Crazy Sharp. Uh, I, I may be wrong on that, but I believe that's what it's called. I think that's what the business is called. Uh, you can look him up uh, online. And this is, I think, kind of a cool little knife. You can see it's got the, the Kydex sheath just uh, corded neck uh, necklace here to put on it. And here is the knife itself. It's a little Warncliffe fixed blade. And let me get this lined up here, okay. And so we're looking at about six and three quarter inches on this. The handle, depending on, or excuse me, the blade, depending on exactly where you measure it from, uh, is going to be about three and a quarter inches. The cutting edge on this is going to be right at two and a half inches. Okay, so a fairly small knife, but a nice little worn cliff. Um, and if you're looking for a fixed blade rather than a folder, this might be an option for you. Fits well in hand. You know, you, could, you can hold it back here, but it's really made to hold with the choil. Uh, you can do a lot of detailed work with this as well if you want to choke up on it a bit. The handle is G10. Take a look. And it's held on with Torx screws. The blade uh, is the Artisan Cutlery logo. And you can see Mike Emler Design is made in China. And the steel on this is ARRPM9. Uh, ARRPM9 is a powder steel. It is basically the powdered version of 9CR18 MOV, which is the equivalent of 440C. So basically what this is is 440C, only a powder metallurgy version rather than ingot steel. And so it is going to have smaller carbides and it is going to uh, at least presumably hold an edge longer. Um, I can't attest personally to how long it's going to hold the edge. Um, I've had it a little bit. I really haven't used this much though. Uh, I do have another knife in ARRPM9 that seems to be holding up quite well, uh, even though it's not my favorite knife in the world. It's the uh, CJRB Mylia. Uh, I've done a review on that. Don't care for the knife all that much, but the blade seems to be good quality. Um, the Some other people who I've seen doing some testing on this, I think uh, Pete, etc., and Ada did some testing on the Air RPM9. Uh, it appears that it holds an edge about as long as a D2 blade, which is going to be longer than a 440C blade would hold it. Um, so you are getting a little better edge holding ability. Uh, but you still have the other characteristics of the 440C or the 9CR. Uh, you know, though they're both 9CR and 440C, which are very, very similar, uh, are very corrosion resistant steels because they have a fair amount of chromium uh, and they're relatively easy to maintain. You know, I like 440C as a steel uh, and this appears like it's very going to be very similar to 440C in, in ease of maintenance, uh, but hold an edge longer than the ingot version of 440C. So I like this knife uh, a lot. It is very comfortable in hand. The only thing I do wish was that the handle was a little thicker. 
uh, give you a little more hand filling experience, but it is not bad. You can see I've got large hands and I still have plenty of room if I'm choking up. If I'm not, I'm getting about a three and a half finger grip on it. Uh, but if you do choke up, I can certainly get all four fingers on. Even if you have extra large, that should not be a problem. So uh, pretty good retention uh, on this. Nope, not gonna shake out. Uh, so certainly I wouldn't have any qualms that way about carrying it as a neck knife. It's just a little bit on the large side for my taste. Um, but, you know, still I think makes a good option if you're looking for a fixed blade worn cliff. That's not, you know, overly large. Hope you found this interesting. You all have a good day. I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.